Alright, so we're going to have a look at activating Basehead for the first time. So after you've installed your copy of Basehead, you'll be directed to the post order page. Now this has all the information required to activate your copy of Basehead. Uh, the main thing that you'll need is the license request activation utility. Now you can download this from the website here, uh, or you can use the register option in Basehead. To launch the license request utility from within Basehead, click the register button on the start page. In the activation panel, click the launch now button to launch the license request utility. Now, when you purchase Basehead, uh, you'll receive what's called a license container on your account. So on your account, my account, if you go into the my licenses tab, you will see that your license is listed uh, on here. Uh, you'll have a, an, what's called an empty license container. Now this container will say what version of Basehead that you're running. Uh, will also have your specific ID number and then it will have your maintenance period date. Now the maintenance period is where you will receive free updates up until that date. Uh, unlike a subscription based service, uh, you're free to use Basehead uh, after this date. You can just only run versions of Basehead up to the end of your maintenance period. Uh, if a version comes out uh, after the maintenance period that has fixes or features that you really need, uh, you can extend your maintenance period. What you need to keep in mind is that any time that you extend a maintenance period, you need to just re-download the key and replace the old key to get the new maintenance period date. So to activate this license container, what we need to do is we need to use the license request utility. So the license request utility has a number of different ways that we can authorize Basehead. Uh, we're going to look at the system option and we're also going to look at uh, activating via USB or iLock. These are both the same. We're just going to look at uh, activating using a USB drive. So the first thing you want to do is select the method. What we need to do is just copy the serial number that's been generated. So this will be a serial number that's been generated based on our processor and hardware ID. So just copy this to the clipboard. And then back under my accounts and my licenses, select the license container that we want to activate and click the activate button. Click the device system license and then paste in the copied key. Now, if for whatever reason you can't paste this key in that you copied, you can go back to the license utility and save this to a file. This will save it to a file on your desktop and then just select the file to import it. And then just simply click activate. This license container has now been activated and we have our system binding ID here. So we now need to download the key and activate Basehead. Uh, one thing to just quickly point out is that uh, depending on the browser that you're using, this should end in .key, K-E-Y. The file is actually a uh, standard XML file, so the web browser may detect it as XML and relabel as XML, just rename it back to .key. Now you can save this to any location on your computer, uh, your desktop for instance, and then when you launch Basehead, you can just drag the license file into the dialog box, uh, or we can go into the documents folder, find the Basehead 5X folder, and then inside here, find the licenses subfolder and save the file directly into there. So once we've got a license file in there, we can launch Basehead and uh, if the license file is detected and is correct, we should be up and running. And once we've got Basehead launched, we should then see that uh, we have our updates active until the end date of our maintenance period. The next activation method we're going to look at is binding our copy to a USB drive or an iLock drive. These are both the same in how they work. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate just with a USB drive. And what this will do is this will allow us to take our license key or our authorization with us wherever we go. So we can authorize any system that we use by just simply connecting our USB drive as long as we've got the license key available. So the first thing we need to do if we want to use a USB stick or an iLock device is have it attached to the system. The system will recognize any USB mass storage device. Um, just make sure that you've only got one device attached whilst doing this process. Uh, select the drive and uh, you should now see that uh, a serial code has been generated for this drive. 
just keep in mind some cheap USB drives may not have a valid serial number for the drive. Uh, so if you see the uh, serial number as all zeros, uh, then the authorization may not work for that key, grab another key. So the process is exactly the same to generate a key file as it is for system. What we wanna do is copy the device serial code to clipboard. And then on our accounts license page, we wanna to go to our license container and choose to activate. We wanna choose the device serial option and paste in the key. Now, once we've activated this license container, it will say that we have a USB authorization for this particular USB key. And then what we need to do is download this license key. Now this license key can be saved to our Basehead licenses folder. So under documents, Basehead 5X licenses, we can save this license key and this will authorize our copy of Basehead. Uh, I'm gonna save this to my desktop though, because uh, especially when using a USB stick, if we wanna move between systems easily, we can actually save the license key to the USB stick. So as soon as we attach it to any system, it will authorize our copy of Basehead without having to copy this key to each computer we use. So to be able to take this license key with us if we're using the USB licensing method, what we can do is on the USB stick, just create a folder called Basehead. Inside there, create a folder called Licenses. We then just move our license file straight into this Licenses folder. And now when we launch Basehead, it will detect the USB key and then it will search for a license file on the key. Now, if at any point you need to update your license file, so if you've uh, lost your USB stick, for instance, or you've uh, switched to a new system and you need to generate a new system ID, uh, all you need to do is deactivate the current license. Now, keep in mind that every time you deactivate a license, this will put it onto what's called the kill list immediately. So it will take that license out of operation. Um, give a reason for why you're deactivating. and this will now give us back an empty license container. We can now choose to activate using the method that we choose. Now, if you do run into any issues authorizing Basehead, uh, first of all, just check the knowledge base uh, for any questions that might relate to your problem. Uh, so under the licensing question section, uh, you may find a question that relates to your particular issue. If you're still having issues after that, uh, hit up the support with a support request. Come <laughs> on.